All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Greedfall. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, all that goodness. Um, quick note, been having a little bit of nosebleed trouble, so if I have to stop or, like, just, like, randomly end the stream, it's because it's back and it's been a problem for, like, twice today. So here's hoping I don't bleed to death on the stream. Okay, so... I did a little shopping, as you can see. Got a new cloak, or new cape, new hat. Let's, uh, go look for this cabin boy, interrogate witnesses. Hey, El Jefe, how you doing, buddy? Ah, yes, the Coin Guard Tavern. Completing quest. I know how to complete quests, I've completed several. No problem. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? Uh, information, if you can. Ask him about the kidnapping. Speak uh about eventual witnesses. I am looking for a naught, a young cabin boy who has been missing roll call for two days now. A naught, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping? In my establishment? You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. <sighs> um, what about witnesses? Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here? He would never give away his chair at his table. <laughs> Anything else? Gotta love those loyal regulars. Oh, Constantine information. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered. And no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age? Hair down to his neck, light brown? Blue eyes? Quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. Really? I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. All right, uh, don't pay, let me That's see. That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. Oh, the father has forgotten to give his daughter her allowance, it would seem. Oh, well, I'm gonna see if I, I can repair go. it. Calm the Farewell. fuck down. Goodbye. Yes, for some reason I'm also a carpenter. This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. Okay, well, let's, uh... And there you have it. You'd never guess they were once broken. Nope. Got it all back together. Alright, buddy. Well then, were you able to repair it all? Did you yes. not watch me do it? Just like new. Or nearly. That does indeed look like fine work. You know what you're doing. I would hope. Can you tell me where I can find my cousin now? <laughs> Your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They have a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In okay. any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender salts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. 
Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? No, that's it. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Well, Constantine's been with him for, uh... Oh, wait. I can still talk to the witnesses? Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No, have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I'm here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. Uh, what do you know what about him? Tell me about the boy. How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. And what happened? Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Really? Okay, uh, ask more information about the rich man. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A money lender? No, my lady. You are in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulema embassy. Thank okay. you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Hey, well, he must have some motive, but we'll see. And Constantine's been with the bandits for a little bit, so he can he can wait like what? 20 more minutes while we go find the uh, cabin boy? Maybe an hour in game time? I don't know. You know how RPGs are always so complicated with time. Knock, knock. Might I help you, my lady? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Right. Well, I'm assuming she's upstairs. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lady de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here. But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We are looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. Okay, let's speak of the altercation. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirm that your son had a fight with your husband, and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly, witnesses, in a tavern, and you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family. <laughs> these witnesses are all in agreement, and it is their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. Yeah, I don't believe that. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? 
I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact... It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Alright, maybe we can ask Vasco about it. Or probably just anyone down at port. We need to go... Wait, can we go through there? Oh no, that's just that, like, overhang or whatever the hell you'll describe it as, but... This is the path. This is a lovely colonial street. <laughs> Learn more about not contracts. Where are we going? Probably going the wrong way, I think. Captain Vasco, as I thought. Hey, buddy, I got a question. Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin boy. But we will have to do without. Actually, that's why I'm here. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a naught. Our ships are his home. And we are his only family. Do not just, like, not have sex. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a naught? Sir Wait, de Corsillon is a veritable well of scientific knowledge. He could tell us a little more. I mean, because, like, if you did... You could boost your numbers quite well. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. He has, but don't that's worry. not why I'm here. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? Yes, please, and welcome back, Hefe. Uh, contracts. I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child, due to some contract with the Norts. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news to Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there has always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Noughts. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such a cord, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son in an agreement signed between my uncle and the Noughts? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance. Uh, uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. 
but that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. Shit. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Very Lady ugly. Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Oh, she probably m might have known. She most likely knew. That's not really something you, you just sort of spring on your wife. Oh my god, what am I stuck on? Oh, I'm stuck on you! There's their house. Hey, what's this? Note attention to servants, prepare. Oh, just. This document mentions a warehouse. Property. A warehouse. That would be a great place to hide. Shall we take a peek? Let's first inform the wife. If we can. Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiries yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. Okay, never mind. With respect, my lady. She just told us to leave because we basically yelled at her when we started talking. <laughs> Where is this taking me? A little bit lower and across town. Very unpleasant, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. Uh, okay, open around. In we go. Here we are. Be careful. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. Let's just try to remain discreet. Anything up here? Anybody up here? Doesn't look like it. It's just a storeroom. Nothing we can even loot? Right, turn around, Kurt. Let's go. I love the little crowd. Basically just crab walking all over the place. Thing over here? No. Lady Desade, what are you doing here? I have come looking for your son. The Norts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Norts took him from us, but now we've got him back, and he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? Ooh, reason You've taken him. your son against his will and have locked him up like merchandise in a warehouse. Is that what you call being a good father? If I hadn't taken him back, he would have been hauled off on one of the cursed ships. If that's what he wants, then why would you want to stop him? For his mother! She misses him so. But in the end, you may be right. My boy has changed. He hasn't spoken a word to me since we've been in this precarious predicament. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. I like how he calls it a predicament, but it's the exact situation he got himself into. Alright, is he th he should be around here, I guess. That's a door. There's a cell. Maybe in here. Nope, just loot! That I can't open because I can't lockpick. Locked. Jonas? Ready to go? Who are you? My name is Desade. 
I'm Legate of the Congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... my father to allow me to go free? Mm -hmm. Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. Dale. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me, and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the Noughts. I am sorry for my parents, but that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes, you can. Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to your ship. I will see you there. All right, now, uh, time to go. Eh, well, let, let's talk to Vasco first. Tell him about our success, and then, oh, this is another room, not an exit. Tell him about the success, and, uh, then go find Constantine. Wait. No, I just came from this way. Oh my god, move! Oh shit, no, 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 turn around. Didn't mean to do that. The sprint button is X and so is the open door button, so it leads to shenanigans. Oh, did I miss this? Cotton Vasco, your cabin boy should be returning to you any moment. Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without him. I know where he no is, fear. leave me alone. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? My cabin boy. Jonas is back on ship. I have you to thank, I imagine. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. Thank you. All Be right. back soon, Captain. Time to find Constantine and level four. Let's level up a little bit. Just I need two points for literally anything that I would unlock, but let's do some magic. Attributes. What do I want to go with? Strength or that does magic damage, little power, magic points, accuracy. Okay. I just walked myself into a corner. Oh no! There we go. Should be around here somewhere. If you had any idea who I am, don't run up, imbeciles! I have a ship to catch. That vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. Sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. 
Well, we'll see what we can do. At the end of the day, I'm very willing to just kill them. <laughs> So, I don't think we can open this door. Yeah, that's what I thought. So let's uh, let's go sneaky sneaking. Now, there's a ladder here. Nope, can't blow that open. Plus, it would alert the guards. It's blocked. Okay. Excuse me. Enemy detection. Okay. Can I sneak around him? With all those posters we posted, someone with deep pockets will show up sooner or later to liberate Booster. He's making a great deal of noise. We could knock him out. Or all right. Might want to stay crouched. There's the stairs. Nobody's in here. So we can just take all their shit. Can't get behind there. Ooh. Can I open you? Please tell me I can. But I... Why is it telling me to use the key if I don't have the key? Alright, I know Constantine is upstairs, but let's check down here. Can't blow that open. Golden ammo. What's this? Ooh, a key. And we can just unblock this. I don't think we need to crouch down here. Once we get upstairs, sure. Oop. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Open that. Okay. Anybody up here? Looks like we're in the clear. Cell key. Oh, no. Damn it. Take that. Ornamental doublet. Let's take a look. It's probably the same thing as what we've got. Yep. Without the little neck flap stash thing. has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to oh. Constantine, it's me! My fair cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. That we do. If Companion equipment. What does he got? How these river oh my God, he's just in rags. Fair cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, 
Let's give them their money's worth. They have you sure? Us. We could sneak out of here silently. We have a ship to board. You've always been the reasonable soul. Don't you think these brutes deserve a punishment? Yes, without a doubt. But don't you think there are more pressing matters? Kurt! It is your highness's decision to make. Whatever it is, I shall follow. Alright, you know what? Screw it. There hasn't been any combat yet, so let's kick some ass. But first, I'm gonna take that. Oh, uh, where is the door? Right here. Sup, bitches? To my help. There's like what two more one more There we go See that wasn't so hard I hope your bloodlust has been quenched today Constantine <laughs> Alright, let's get to Vasco and get the hell out of Serene. It's been a long time coming. Uh, is this gonna get us quicker to port? I think so. Yes! There is our ship! All right, big boy. Time to talk. Madam? Constantine Dorsey, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, your highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. All right, let's go. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. Nope. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tear Freddy. All right, Vasco. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures, as big as buildings. Jesus, That's buildings? Right. I heard a rumor the Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. Oh, Lord. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, pistol-stilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come on. Let's send them ahead. Oh, shit. All right, boss fight time it is. Ah, no. Gotta get out of range. This thing really doesn't like magic, does it? Shit. 
Oh, did I accidentally, I accidentally switched back? Oh, Jesus. How do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I have the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, where'd the corpse go? Can I loot it? I can't loot it. Okay, there's nothing there. Then over this way. To the ship. Madam, gentlemen. cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. This journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. To the new world we go and new serene which you know you, you'd think colonies would have creative more creative names than just new insert city Gentlemen, 
I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello? Cat got your tongue, gentlemen? Would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Don't trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regretting. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. Not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are! To your health! Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency! Lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence! We must wait for our escort! No need. Have no fear, for I am here to defend you, my lady. I've been scullied. How so? My admiral laid me off. Oh, that sucks. My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope that there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. Oh! This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. I mean, just sounds like you dry docked for a while, but welcome. And that's level five for sure. Let's upgrade some things. Let's go, uh, that and, nope. Talents. We want to do vigor craftsmanship. Uh, let's do intuition for now and then spec in a crafting in the net at level nine, I guess. Let's uh, quickly loot this, because that's the first thing you do whenever you see it. And it looks like we're heading towards the palace. Constantine is just a... He's just a courageous little rich kid who wants to see everything. Alright, find him at the palace. And yes, I'm very aware New York, New Mexico, all of that has the word new insert place, but still. Hello, sir. Excellency, welcome back to my modest shop. It is an immense honor for me to be of service to such noble clientele. What might I do for you? Uh, bye. Let's see what I can get. Already got some higher level goods here that I cannot buy. <laughs> Elegant tricorn. How much is a new hat? 122. Well, okay. Let's see if we can sell anything. Sell that. Sell that. Uh, let's keep those. Yeah, keep those too. This is consumables. All right. 
I can buy that, but it requires two agility, so there's no sense in it. Actually, hold on. Wait, capes? No new capes. Let's go back. Firearms. Accuracy one. What is that under? I forget. What is that under? That's not under talents, is it? Um, and that's most of my gold anyway, so we'll come back for that. Uh, what's the difference? But is it just a higher armor level, or no? Let's just get the new hat, cause I want a new hat. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Gotta love new hats. All right. Come closer, good people. The cure and wine from the continent. Hello, Your Excellency. Greetings. Sadly, I cannot stay in chat with you. I am expected elsewhere. All right. Atoy, sien srade dau quint. Attention, soldier. Let me pass. I must see the chief of your village. <laughs> Whatever could be so funny. Now, who would you be to seek an audience with the governor? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnir. My mother is Amal, the chief of our clan. I am here as an emissary of my people, and I must see your chief, your governor. And so you're a princess, then? A what? Let her pass. Your Majesty, I shall present you to the Governor. Come. Princess, Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank you for your help. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, uh... Vasco, I guess, just, uh, go, go back to port? Sorry, buddy. Ooh, look at this. Just utterly lovely. Knock, knock. There you are, fair cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Mal. The chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire. The time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, fair cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, fair cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. <laughs> Unsafe roads in a colony? You wouldn't say. All right, let's go first meet with the uh, governor of the bridge and Teleme. Where, where's my mission log? Uh, them. 
and then I believe we'll go speak to... Oh, hello. Yes. Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Of course. And bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the price of wisdom, Desade. Okay, a few ongoing exploration quests. Let's actually... Let's traipse around the palace for a bit. And see if we can find anything we can loot. Because, you know, that's always first priority. <laughs> oh, hello. Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? Uh, what do you do here? What exactly is your role here? I am tasked with advising Governor Constantine about business matters, and I make sure that all business contracts are established properly and are favorable to us. I am responsible for setting taxes on goods based on their value, among other things. It is an exciting job that requires the utmost care. So Would you're you like a treasurer. Else? You're a treasurer, okay. That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Oh, that's just a bookshelf ladder. I saw you sitting back here, hiding from me. Hiding your valuable loot. Oh, gotta wait for the light to adjust. Just imagine working at a palace, and then all of a sudden, the the newest noble who arrives just starts traipsing around the cellar, and the basement, and the attic, looking for shit to steal. <laughs> oh, hello. I mean, technically it's not stealing, because it's rightfully theirs almost, but um, still, it's weird. A library we need to hire a new librarian and execute the one who's been working here because there's just shit all over the floor all right up we go Thing. Just servants' quarters. Up oh, there's more stairs. And a ladder. It's blocked. Okay, I guess that's the end of our exploration here. We got one more door to explore. Oh shit. Can I just hop down? Nope. Or, or maybe I can. <laughs> Open.
Oh, just the dining room. Interesting. Kitchen. What are these keys to? Servants' keys are governor's palace. Okay. We'll figure out what that opens sooner or later. Because do not doubt we're going to go exploring. Okay. Direct access to... What? Alright, so what is this? Coin guards, barracks... Oh, yeah, we should probably check in with them, because we did get their supplies here. Silva District. I'm probably taking the, the, uh, the long way. There's the tavern. Hello, sir. Well, I'll be damned, it's Captain Kurt. Manfred! Still a quartermaster? Always, as you can see. What can I do for you? Got your goods. We've come to find you regarding the merchandise that Kurt was taking care of. Ah, the commander's cargo, yes. I was told that had come in. And so he's got you working on this. Lucky Kurt. It helps to have friends in high places. Is everything in order? Alas, no. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They're well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled a quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him, then? No, of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse, as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? They are already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. Oh, a color okay. mark will stick out for them to find. But they need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? Uh, no. No, thank you. Looks like I gotta go traipsing around in a not costume again. How are we to know in which warehouse we'll find this damn cargo? I'm afraid we're going to have to take a look at all of them. We'll figure it out. But I think we'll figure it out when I return in a moment. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, Citizen of the Empire. Uh, you know, if you haven't already, drop me a follow. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And I will be back in a moment. <laughs>